Okay guys, welcome to another Affinity tutorial video. I'm Jack and today I'm going to show you how to make a dull image really pop. Now this was shot on a fairly overcast day and also it's slightly underexposed, that's why it's a little bit darker. So the first thing we're going to do is hit levels and we're just going to bring back a bit of life to it. Now we don't want to go too much with this but already that looks a lot better. Okay, now we're just going to merge that in. So I'm happy with that. Now the second thing that I'm going to do is go to shadows and highlights. And I'm just going to try and get some shadows out, mainly looking at these wings, a little bit dark. I want to get them there. Highlights, you can see you can kind of go either way. Not too much there. In fact, highlights are about right because it was such a dull day. We don't really need much. On those so I'm gonna leave that as is now that has got to a point where I'm happy with the exposure but what I want to do is make the colors more punchy so if we go to vibrance we can click on default and we can adjust that and you can see obviously that's a little bit too extreme but that makes the colors a lot better much 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 more punchy uh, in fact we're gonna come down just a touch now we can of course do contrast and brightness as well. And just gonna up the contrast a little bit. Up that there. And there we go. Now one of the things I like to do with these sort of shots is if I go to the dodge tool, particularly when it's got an eye like that, we're going to make that eye stand out a little bit and just dodge the head and I'm going to turn the opacity down a little touch just so we're not as high. Just do the wings a little bit, do the tail just a touch. There we go. And already that picture is much more punchy. So if we start, we started with that and we've gone to that. Looks a lot better. Nice simple editing techniques. Okay. Hopefully that's helped you out. Obviously it completely depends on the picture that you're using, but typically uh, a little bit of dodging, adding in some vibrance, some saturation, contrast, um, and again, not overdoing it, just little subtle hints. With wildlife photography, we don't want to be over editing these pictures, just little bits. Hopefully that's helped and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.